Okay, so if you're subscribed to this channel, it's probably because you have seen my video on how to edit studio portraits in Lightroom and Photoshop. I made the video about 10 months ago, back in 2021, and the way that I showed you guys how to do it still works today, and it would still get you by, but there has been a lot of updates from Lightroom and Photoshop ever since then, and it is currently March 14th, 2022. So, with that said, I want to show you guys a new way that you can do it much faster and in a much easier, painless, and smoother way. Let's get into it. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've already edited this image. This is the before and this is the after. Slightly overexposed. I have a white backdrop. I'm going to link below the exact same backdrop that I used from Savage Universal. You guys can get it directly on their website or you can get it on Amazon. I'm going to provide you guys with an Amazon link. So just click it in the description. So even though this backdrop was pretty wide, sitting at about 12 feet, I'd say wide and 10 feet tall, I still came out of the backdrop on the borders here, as you can see. And what I want to achieve here is an infinite white backdrop. So all you see is white behind them and it looks real. Uh, you can still tell that there's some depth to it. You can still see his shadow, but it's infinite. It never ends. So I could easily just try to crop it in but as you can see, that gets rid of his legs and I can only crop in so much to where I don't really have any headspace and the image just looks crammed into a four by five. So it just gives you this sense of claustrophobia because you are, you know, so packed in like a sardine and it just doesn't look good. So because I don't wanna compromise the framing, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go into Photoshop and I'm gonna extend this backdrop. I'm gonna eliminate these borders and I'm gonna make him sit right in the center of the frame. So let's do that right now. You're gonna right click, go to edit in, edit in Adobe Photoshop 2022. It's gonna take a minute to load and hopefully it's not too long and something's happening. Waiting. All right, let's not waste any more time. This is how you can do this in 2022. In the past, I would select my layer, select the marquee tool, select an area, and then press shift and move the layer that I selected to extend the backdrop that way. And you still have to use the sampling tool or the healing tool to get rid of all these lines where you can clearly see that the backdrop was extended. Now you can still do it this way, it's not the wrong way to do it, not really outdated. I would think of it kind of like working in manual mode. You are in control of all the tools and how it's doing it and what it's really doing, what it's sampling from. But if you want a faster way on how to do this, Photoshop has an AI that uses content aware fill, which means that the AI in the software will analyze the image and sample from an area that looks similar to what you're trying to replace. So we're gonna use the marquee tool. You can press M on your keyboard and I'm gonna select this area. I'm gonna hold shift and select this other area. Hold shift still and select this other area. That is all that we wanna get rid of. That is all that I'm selecting. Then I'm gonna go to edit. I'm gonna go to content aware fill and I'm gonna tell it to only sample the white backdrop and none of Rob to avoid any issues. On the right here, it's gonna show you what your image is gonna be looking like. As you can see, what's highlighted in green is what Photoshop is sampling from, and what's not highlighted in green is what it's gonna leave alone. So you can press Alt and Add Areas, or you can go ahead and simply left click and get rid of them. You can also go to the controls here at the top left corner and select it that way. You can change the size of the brush, make it smaller, make it bigger, cover more real estate faster. And it's super easy, super fast, super painless. As you can see here, I have an image that looks absolutely flawless. I don't have to use the sampling tool, I don't have to use the healing tool. Photoshop has an AI that did it all for me and it looks phenomenal. Now, another thing that I showed you guys was how to shrink your subject and center them on the frame. If I 
eliminate this layer here, you can see that that's the backdrop that Photoshop created using its AI. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a copy of our original layer and I'm going to merge both the new layer that's the cover up and the copy of the original layer. So for the sake of keeping you guys organized, I'm going to label this copy of original. And this one is the cover up. Perfect. So I'm going to merge this two and it's just going to become the cover up. Okay. So this is the new image. As you can see, very flawless. We haven't done anything yet to the sizing or the scaling of our subject here. So now that we have that, I'm going to hide the original layer. I'm going to name it real quick and hide it. I'm going to take this image for the purpose of resizing and centering things. I would recommend that you guys activate your guides and your rulers. You can do that by going to view and you can click rulers or as you can see you can click control R that will do the trick too and to see your guides you will simply click on the ruler and drag it over as you can see I'm dragging it right here to the middle of this particular photo this particular frame aspect ratio whatever you want to call it so now I'm gonna to try to resize Rob our subject and I'm going to do that by dragging a corner, pressing Alt, and dragging it in. Then I'm going to reframe them, put them in the center there, bring them up a little. And I think that will look really good. I can also adjust the crop ratio here by pressing C. And as you can see, I've already entered 4 by 5, which is 1080 by 1350, which is also the vertical aspect ratio for Instagram vertical photos. And that's the aspect ratio that I want to keep. So I'm going to press enter. And that's going to be my new aspect ratio. It gives me a better idea of how big I want to have Rob be on the frame. So I'm going to make him a little bit bigger so that he can keep a bit of scale. But I still want to leave enough headspace at the top and at the bottom. I'm going to press the check button so that it makes the adjustments. I'm going to grab the marquee tool. And once again, we're just going to repeat this process. Click the marquee tool, select the areas that you want to cover up, go to the edit, content aware fill. And once again, we don't want it to touch or sample anywhere from Rob, our subject, to avoid any issues. And as you can see, it has extended the backdrop. We have applied our adjustments. We're going to press OK, deselect that, and here's our cover up. We can deactivate the guides and the rulers by pressing Control R and Control semicolon. And there you go. We have an image with an extended backdrop. It's resized and it is looking hella good especially if you're wanting to post this on Instagram, you wouldn't have been able to do it with the same framing. You would have been losing some of his legs or some of his head, or you would have just had a crammed in image, which would have not looked good because obviously you want to have that headspace at the top, at the bottom, and on the sides, just so that everything feels balanced. This is negative space that you want to keep on the image so that it looks good and it has room to breathe. So, Another way that you can do this is by going to content aware scale. Now the thing about the content aware scale is that if you push it too far, you can see Rob elongating himself, which uh, looks kind of goofy and we don't want that. So this is the best way that I've found to do this kind of stuff and extend backdrops and resize images. If you happen to know a better way and you wanna show us, let me know um, in the comment section and we will check it out. Maybe I'll make another video about it, an updated version later in 2022. Here's the before and after. If you like this kind of content, then go ahead and support the channel by dropping us a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any other videos that I'm going to be posting. And if you have a specific video that you would like to see or something that you would like to learn, 
let me know in the comment section. If you have any questions or something that did not make sense in this video, let me know. I will get back to you in literally seconds because I live in the YouTube app and I am always responding to comments as fast as I can. Hope to see more of you guys around. Take you guys later. Peace.